Now, everyone is talking about cryptocurrencies. Everyone. And by everyone, I mean everyone that's trying to change the world. Yeah? Even if you're not interested at the moment, at one point in time, you will be. Because we all have this, uh, we, we all think that there will be the currencies of the future or the next big thing. You never know. And when that time comes, I want you to be able to buy without being scammed. Welcome to yet another crypto video. If you're new to this channel, please smash that subscribe button for me. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you. Um, so today we talk about the best platforms that can help you buy and sell cryptocurrencies in Uganda or Africa at large. And, uh, and the platforms I give you can be trusted, they're safe, they're secure. So you don't have to worry about being scammed. And I understand scamming is a very big thing in Uganda, for example. And it happens mostly in cryptocurrencies because the knowledge is not so the knowledge is not well disseminated so people do not know about these things mostly so it's most likely that the person whom i tell you about these things is a scammer and that person is not me no yeah i know i've shot myself in the foot but uh, i'm not a scammer okay back to the video um so there are many platforms that can help you buy and sell Bitcoin, Ethereum, ADA, Bitchain, any cryptocurrency out there. But uh, only a few work in Africa. I don't know why. Why is that so? Uh, you, you might try and download Robinhood and they'll tell you this service is not available in your location, something like that. And I don't understand why. They are never available in our locations, but I don't want to ask so many questions. I, I, I don't understand what is wrong with our location. <sighs> anyway, back to the video. So if uh, you want to buy cryptocurrencies in Uganda, you have to look for a platform that is safe, secure, fast, and uh, with good reviews. Or oh, It has been in existence for a very, very long time. You're not, it's very hard to trust new platforms. Yeah, that is a... The possibility of being scammed is really really high if uh, it's a sketchy platform and they have you know they have nothing to show that they have no substance so the other platforms i've listed yeah there are three by the way there are only three they are very good they work in uganda of course that's why they have been they have been listed you will be able to buy bitcoin on all of them then uh, some have only bitcoin some have like three coins and one has almost everything so let's get into it now the first one is a yellow card and you can see from here they have only listed one coin which should tell you that it's a very new platform so you can only buy and sell bitcoin with yellow card you can buy sell or trade but i currently cannot buy because i haven't verified my account so the, the signing up process is very easy they ask for your phone number and password but for you to be able to trade buy or sell bitcoin you have to verify your identity and uh, that that means you verify your email your identity and you create a pin for your account so verifying your email is simple verifying your identity they have three tires one two and three and each tire has its own set of amount that you can trade in tire one it's four million and the last one is one billion and depending on which money you want to play with you can verify with this one so most people i think are under tire one and they only ask for national id and date of birth and that's it so after verifying your identity you can be able to trade or buy bitcoin easily without any hardship so i think the platform is it looks good user friendly the only the only problem is that they have only listed one coin but i think in the future they will list more it is a new platform so i think i think there are better there are better things coming and if you check here you you can see which countries are available or which countries support yellow card and those are about nine nigeria kenya cameroon uh, uganda is down there and rwanda so it's only available to african countries this is these ones came like saviors they came to save us yeah so i think the platform will grow with time the app is available on play store or app store depending on if you're an upper person or whatever yeah that's yellow card for you the second platform on my list is a uh, cheaper cash cheaper cash 
this is a very new it's very new in Uganda but it has been in existence for some time now but they have just started that uh, well let's get into it Ash. I think most of us were used to cheaper cash as a platform where you can send and receive money from the UK. Yeah, but recently they had many additions. They added uh, stocks and cryptocurrencies on their platform. Yeah, so you can buy stocks and you can also buy cryptocurrencies with cheaper cash. That is how their app looks. It's very simple. Yeah, the registration process is also quite simple. It doesn't take much. I think you only need an ID, national ID again. And uh, they verify you, then you can start buying and selling stocks. Or, but this video is about cryptocurrency, so um, uh, you see that they, they only listed three coins at the moment. That's two more than yellow card. They have Ethereum and USDT. Yellow card only had Bitcoin, yeah. So the process is also simple. Yeah, these two platforms they all accept mobile money or credit card or bank transfers, or whatever. So I think it's quite simple once you get the app, you just hit the buy button. And you'll be able to get any cryptocurrency that you want. And the only good thing that I like about Chipper Cash is that they have listed two more coins. That's one more than yellow card. That is a huge step. Ethereum is good. I think Ethereum is good. Um, uh, but Chipper Cash is uh, operating in very few or fewer countries than yellow card. You see that they're only in Ghana, Nigeria, Uganda, SA. Yeah. Plus uh, UK and America, of course. Those are very few countries. Those are very few African countries. I think they also have plans of expanding with time. With time, time will time will tell. Time always tells what happens next. Yeah, but that's cheaper cash for you. Now the last on my list is my favorite. Yeah, Binance. They, they literally have everything, everything that you can dream of in the crypto world. I think we all know what Binance is. Yeah, the biggest crypto exchange platform in volume. Yeah. The, one of the very few Chinese products that you can trust, pun intended. Um, uh, so Binance is quite complicated for a beginner, even for people that have been there for a while. But it's easy to navigate. Yeah, It just has many things that might be confusing at the beginning because they have many coins listed, they have many things going on, there is staking, there is Binance fund, there is news, there is... It's like a trading platform. Yeah, It looks complicated. It looks like it's for traders yeah but you can also buy and hold your bitcoin from binance so down there you see the coins they have listed which are very many they say they listed over 300 coins i've never bothered to go there and count i honestly do not know i've never bothered to go there and count i don't think i need to count because all the coins that i want are listed yeah so if you want to buy dog coin that most of you have probably heard of you see there and they also have the thing of peer-to-peer -peer trading you can buy and sell coins from someone directly yeah, without, so you, you will skip that part of uh, funds, the 3% they ask you whenever you're depositing or withdrawing money. Only do peer-to-peer -peer trading if you know what it is, yeah. If you don't know, then you go through the basic process. You go to your wallet, deposit cash, change that cash to USDT or buy, coin the direct, buy the coin directly if it can be bought directly with Ugandan currency or you do whatever. So Binance is so far the best platform that you can use to buy cryptocurrency in uganda yeah and it also has a binance light version for beginners which might be not very complicated for a beginner this one is so direct you see your assets listed there what you hold in what percentage and everything if you want to sell you just sell directly they also show the cryptocurrencies and the graphs which one has increased which one has decreased anything for as long as you've made your research about something you want to buy and you want to buy it, it is there, yeah? So the verification process is the only hard thing, maybe. Not not actually hard. If you have a national ID, it doesn't take anything. They say it takes about 10 days to get you verified. But if you have everything with you, it can take you like 30 minutes to get the verification thing, yeah? It's not that complicated. It's, it's quite simple. And once they have verified you, that's when you can buy, Yeah? I think that's that's on all platforms. If they have verified that you exist, that's a, that's the only time you can buy. Now, if you go to check uh, the countries in which Binance is available in, you'll see that there are quite many. I, I think it's available in all African countries. I haven't bothered counting, but it's available in many, many, many countries. So you can never go wrong with this one. 
there are quite many and, and those are the coins listed on binance there are also quite many i don't think you'd want to buy all of them you just want to you just go for what you want to buy accepted countries are quite many so it's very hard to go wrong with binance yeah it's quite safe quite secure it has a that two-factor authentication thing yeah so yeah, unless they hack into your account your coins are really really safe but hackers exist i don't think hackers will look for you anywhere uh, that's the thing with internet business is a very big risk but but every kind of business has a big risk so i don't see why you should worry yeah so so that's the list those were the three platforms that you can use to buy and sell cryptocurrencies in uganda and uh in africa at large i think so that's it for today's video and i think by now you should know which platforms are available for us to buy and sell cryptocurrencies yeah so avoid being scammed mm -hmm. do not trust anyone with your money it's risky business crypto already do not increase the risk thank you for watching and see you in the next one